Hi everyone, welcome you all to the video solution of CBSE exam 2019 for class 10. Today we'll be discussing the solution of mathematics of set 1. Now let's begin our discussion with question number 1. This question is from coordinate geometry and the question states, find the coordinates of point A where AB is diameter of a circle whose center is 2 comma minus 3 and B is the point with coordinates 1 comma 4. In this question, we have the coordinates of one of the ends of this given line segment AB as well as the coordinates of the midpoint of this line segment AB. Clearly, we will obtain the coordinates of point A using the concept midpoint theorem. Now, let us solve this question. First of all, O be the center of the circle. This is our assumption and the coordinates of point A, B, X, Y. Now, let us apply the concept of midpoint theorem. First, x plus 1 divided by 2 is equal to 2. That means x1 plus x2 divided by 2 is equal to the x coordinate of the midpoint of this given line segment. Obtaining this using the concept of midpoint theorem. Clear? So, when you solve this equation, you will get the value of x as 3. Clear? Now, let us find the value of y using the same concept that means the concept of midpoint theorem and you can write y plus 4 divided by 2 is equal to minus 3. That means y1 plus y2 divided by 2 is equal to the y coordinate of the midpoint of this given line segment. And when you further solve this equation, you will obtain the value of y as minus 10. That means here we have the coordinates of the point A that means x coordinate 3, y coordinate minus 10 and this is the required answer for this question. So, finally, you can write hence x is equal to 3 and y is equal to minus 10. This is the answer for this question. Now, come to the marking scheme. When you obtain the value of x as 3, this step will give you half mark and rest half mark for the value of y. So, I hope you understood this question. Now, let us proceed to the next one. Now, let us solve question number 2. This question states, for what values of k the roots of the equation x square plus 4x plus k is equal to 0 are real? This question is from quadratic equation. For real solution or real roots of any quadratic equation, the discriminant must be greater or equal to 0. This is the major concept behind this question. Now, let us solve this question. Here it is given that the roots of equation x square plus 4x plus k is equal to 0 are real. Therefore, we can conclude discriminant must be greater or equal to 0. Discriminant we can find using the formula b square minus 4ac, b is the coefficient of x that is 4, a leading coefficient that means coefficient of x square that is 1 for this question and k is the constant term that means the value of c is k. So, further we can write 4 square minus 4 times 1 times k is greater or equal to 0. And when we further simplify, we will obtain 16 is greater or equal to 4 times k. And after further simplification, we will obtain k is less than or equal to 4. That means, for all real values of k which are less than or equal to 4, the roots of this given quadratic equation are real. And this is the complete solution of this one mark question. And now come to the marking scheme. So, this very important step will give you half mark for this question and this final answer will give you rest half mark for this question. So, I hope you understood how to answer this question and this is the complete solution. I hope you understood. Now, let us move to the optional part of this question and this question states find the value of k for which the roots of the equation 3x square minus 10x plus k is equal to 0 
are reciprocal of each other again this question from quadratic equation now come to the solution first of all here it is given that the roots of the given equation are reciprocal to each other so we are considering the roots are alpha and 1 upon alpha therefore roots are alpha and 1 upon alpha this is our assumption clear so if the roots are alpha and 1 upon alpha we know that product of roots is equal to constant term divided by the leading coefficient that means you can say the coefficient of x square and for this given quadratic equation the constant term is k and the leading coefficient is 3 that means product of roots can be written as k upon 3 and we have considered roots as alpha and 1 upon alpha so we can write alpha multiplied by 1 upon alpha is equal to k divided by 3 and when we further simplify we are clearly obtaining the value of k is equal to 3 and this is the answer for this question now come to the marking scheme so this step when you assume the roots of this given quality equation alpha and 1 upon alpha as per the given condition will give you half mark and this final answer will give you rest half mark for this question. I hope you understood this question. Now let's proceed to the third question.